remember asking myself if, uh, if I would ever go back and redo the reviews I did on the original Classics Review. And to be honest, I'm actually open to the idea. I just never thought I would actually do it. Like, But, um, no, it's actually, it came as an idea, and I might do it. I'm not sure. It's... I did... I've, I've seen my videos before, and I've... Looking at them now, I wish I could go back and change a lot of things that I said or presented them a lot better. Now that we're in an era where most videos on YouTube are in 1080p HD and and all of that jargon, and uh, people are there's loads of people doing more gaming videos, I don't feel as shy about doing them as I used to. I mean, if you go back and you take a look at the the videos that um like that I used to do I, I look so introverted and, and awkward and I didn't make eye contact with the camera a lot and uh, I don't I still don't really make eye contact with the camera it's a horrible habit but I never used to be this, I'm not as bad as I, I used to be I mean if you if you go back and look at my older videos and you look at my eyes you'll see I'm actually I, I look around uh, I'm, as I'm talking and I, I don't really like talking to the, to the camera, uh, a bit awkward, <laughs> it's just, it's so weird, and I've said to myself, uh, I would like to go back, and I would like to do them again, and I was watching my review of Flashback for the Sega Mega Drive there a few days ago, just, just evaluating what I said, and the things that I used, and the things that I said, and how I presented it because I was thinking about redoing it and I was looking at it and I remember saying at the very start of it um, I think I said something along the lines of um, if you don't understand a word I'm saying leave a comment and I'll improve on the next video and if need be I'll redo a review sometime in the future or something like that so I, I said now if you don't understand a word I'm saying leave a comment and I'll improve on the next video and if need be I'll redo a review on this game, but right now I'm just going to try this out and, and it's my first review, so go it easy. wouldn't be a bad idea, I don't think. I've seen yeah, other YouTubers go back and re-review um, their games or uh, whatever. I, I think IGN said that they were going to go back and re-review games that, that may have changed in future, and so that that's one. smart. That's a smart yeah. thing to do. Um, they said that they were going to re-review some of the games that would always be constantly updated. So, for the likes of World of Warcraft, um, The Elder Scrolls Online, League of Legends, or any games like that, or GTA Online, perhaps, I, I reckon they could go back and re-review um, the games as they keep coming out, uh, are they as good as they were now. Um, Steam does this feedback thing where you can look at uh, how, how good a game is, by looking at its, I'll go, I'm going to say score next to a game that you're thinking of buying. On the right hand side of the of the buy screen, it tells you whether or not people like the game or hate the game, or if it's recommended, or if, if the feedback is mostly positive or mostly negative. And it used to be an overall score from the first day of the game's release right up until recently and now they actually have a thing where they will have the overall score but they will also have under it recent scores what people have been saying about it recently because games change games change and um, and then if you look at the angry video game nerd uh, James Rolfe who's a very popular YouTuber um, he's, he's famous for doing his angry video game nerd videos he just rips on all these games that are really bad that, or that he doesn't like and he goes into great detail on why he hates them and why they are bad and it's really really brilliant and hilarious to watch and he actually went back and re-reviewed a few games that he originally reviewed and said that he wish he could go back and do them again because there was a few things that he wish he could have said a few things that he wish he could have re Right, reanalyzed and presented better and I've noticed that it's not a bad idea to go back and do what you used to do and reevaluate it and re-release it and I think it's a good idea so I th I'm thinking about doing it I actually am thinking about re-reviewing my Mega Drive games that I used to review in my original series of Classics Review and, and bring them back and update them a bit and if anyone has looked at my YouTube channel I can't imagine a lot of people would if anybody but anyone who knows me and has seen my YouTube channel you'll notice that uh, my review of Flashback for the Sega Mega Drive is one of my highest viewed videos on my channel 
behind the video for FIFA International Soccer. Not sure. Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it's got 12,000 views and the FIFA International Soccer video has 20,000 views. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, in eight years it's amassed 12,000 views. It's the most re- it's the most viewed review video that I have. But yet it's so poorly edited and poorly done and the quality is so bad because when I do Mega Drive games, I do use an emulator to record on the screen. And back then my computer wasn't powerful enough to record on a, a major resolution. So I had to shrink the videos down to size just to make them play, just to make them look better, or not so much look better. Play, to make them play smoother and the result was a very pixelated mess that was fine to me at the time but looking back at it with the equipment that I had it was, it's just terrible to look at now and I would like to go back and redo them and reevaluate them and freshen them up a bit more so the Mega Drive reviews that I used to do I would like to go back and review them again and re-release them and just see how they see how they fare in comparison to what they used to be to now. So I am considering it. I'm really considering re-reviewing all my old games and re-releasing them because I have had feedback on various different forums and threads of people saying that your intro is obnoxious. Uh, you need to do this with your videos. You need to analyse these different things. And recently. On the last two Classics Review episodes that I've done, I've decided to split categories of topics of the game, such as graphics, sound, and, and all that stuff. Whereas before, I was doing the review based on watching the game footage that I edited and talking over it as the video went on. So I was mixing myself up, and I wasn't giving myself enough time to go through it. And... Because you had a limit to make your videos under 10 minutes, you you felt under pressure, or at least I felt under pressure, to provide a good, decent review. And I was only 17, 18, 19 at the time, so my reviews were amateur at best. I'm not saying they're not amateur, they're still amateur, but I think I could do a little bit better. So, I, yeah, I might. I'll think about it. Watch this space if you actually watch any of my videos, but... Um, will I go back and re-review my original Classics Review games? Yes, I might. I will consider it. I think I went a little bit overboard with this dis- with this uh, description, with this vlog, so I think I'll leave it there. So, this has been Gamer Boy talking here, talking to you on Gamer Boy Gaming, where I play the games that you need to have. Thanks for watching Improv Vlog, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.